Before we formally feed our mind with new knowledge, let us all stand and feel the holy presence of the Lord. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Okay, so good morning children. My name is Teacher Noor and I will be your teacher for our English class. How are you today class? I am fine. I am great. I'm very well today. Very good. So that means that you are going to participate on our lesson this morning. So do we have an absentee for today? I am glad to report that no one is absent today, teacher. Mmm, bravo! Okay, so I feel like some of you are a little bit wary and you are not that active today. So let's have an action song. It's me, it's you, it's us who builds community. It's me, it's you, it's us who builds community. It's me. It's you, it's us who built community, it's us who built community. La la la, roll over the ocean, roll over the sea, roll over the ocean in the deep blue sea. Roll over the ocean, roll over the sea, roll over the ocean in the deep blue sea. Before we start our lesson for today, let us have a short review on our lesson we have tackled yesterday. So what is our lesson yesterday? We have the first row will be the archers, the second row will be the barbarians, the third row will be the hog riders, and the last row will be the giants. So be smart like a true warrior because for every correct answer that you are going to give me is an equivalent point to our scoring rubric here. So at the end of the lesson, the clan who gets the highest number of points will be declared as winners and will eventually have a reward from me. So are you ready class? Yes teacher! Interesting! So before we are going to proceed with that, let me know if you can still remember our house rule. Yes, teacher. What are those house rules we have, kids? D R O U P S. Groups. G. Give thoughtful feedback. R. Respect each other's ideas. O. On task all the time. U. Use of voices. P. Participate actively. S. Stay with your group. Bravo! So let's give ourselves an angel clap. Okay, so this time we are going to play a game and this is what we call C and say. So what you're going to do is to tell me what are those things that you can see and say to the pictures that I will give to you per troop. So I have here four envelopes and I will be able to distribute this one by troop. Alright? Yes, teacher! Archers, you will have this envelope. Barbarians here. Hog riders here. And of course, the giants. This will be your envelope. Okay, so I'll give you two minutes for you to do that one and we are going to present your work here in front. Alright kids? Now, you are going to listen to a very short story about the three cats and the monkey. But before that, let us learn the unfamiliar words that you will be able to come out with our story. This time, you are going to connect the words from column A to column B with its meaning. 
Okay? Yes, teacher. But before that, let us first read the words under column A. Okay, number one, we have clever. Say it again with me. Clever. Clever means smart. Very good. Number two, we have here loud. Say it again with me. Loud. Loud means noisy. Number three, we have here big. Can you say it again with me? Big. Big means large. Very good. That means huge. Very good class. <laughs> good job, kids. Now, listen carefully as I'm going to read to you a very short story about the three cats and the monkey. Alright? So one day, three clever cats live in a house. The white cat was big. The black cat was bigger than the white cat. The straight cat is the biggest among the three. One day, the cat wanted to bake a cake. The white cat said, I want to eat all the cake in a loud voice. However, the black cat says, Oh, I want to eat all by myself in a louder voice. On the other hand, the striped cat says, I will eat it all alone by myself. In a loudest voice, a clever monkey lived in a tree nearby. He was more clever than the cats. In fact, he was the clever among all other monkeys all over the world. He heard what the cat says and he came to their house. The cats were busy fighting among themselves. So the monkey eat all the cake. At last, they stopped the fight. Where's the cake? They asked. It ran away because you made so much noise, said the monkey. Did you like the content of the story class? Interesting. So this time, I'm going to give you the series of questions that I have here and you are going to answer me. Remember, you have to raise your right hand when you wanted to answer. Understood? Yes, teacher. Good! Who are the characters in the story? The characters in the story are the three cats and the monkey. And what if I ask you, where did the story happen? The story happened in a house. Now, what do you think is the moral lesson of the story? Good job, kids! Okay, so let's all read the following quotation by Matthew Pryor. So here you can see, it takes two to quarrel, but one to end it. Can you say it again with me, class? It takes two to quarrel, but only one to end it. Class, remember this one. When you quarrel or fight someone else, we cannot be able to get the understanding if we kept on fighting, alright? Always put in your mind and heart that you are going to overcome evilness with goodness, falsehood with truth, and hatred with love. Understand, kids? Yes, teacher! Bravo! Very good! This time, let's take a look at the italicized words that is found in the story. Let's first read number one. We have here big, bigger, biggest. Can you say it again with me, class? Big, bigger, biggest. And these are our learning objectives. Number one, we are going to identify the rules of the degree of adjectives. Number two, we have to complete the sentence with the appropriate degree of comparison. Okay? Adjectives change to form comparison. So let's look at the sentences that is found in the story. Let's read. Number one, the white cat was big. Good job. Number two, 
the black cat was bigger than the white cat. Very good. Number three. The stray cat was bigger of the tree. Great job. Big, bigger, and biggest are the different forms of adjective with the same adjective which is big. So the three forms of adjectives are what we call the degree of comparison. So what are degree of comparison? So when we say degree of comparison, these are those adjectives that is used to compare one thing or a group of things to another in order to change its form. So actually, there are three degrees of comparison. The first one is what we call positive degree. The second one is what we call the comparative degree. And the last but not the least degree is what we call the superlative degree. To understand, we can say that there are two or more things that is being compared. Okay? The third but not the least degree of comparison is what we call the superlative degree of adjective. These are those adjectives wherein it is the highest degree of adjective. It is used when there are more than two things or set of things that is being compared. Example, Jamie is the shortest in the class. Let's have another example. Apples are the most expensive fruit in the market. So if you're going to look into those examples, we can say that it is about comparing two or more things. Most adjectives of one syllables form comparative by adding ER and form superlative by adding EST to the positive. Number one, if I have the word sweet, the word sweet has only one Syllable. So that is our positive. If we are going to change it into comparative, we have to add ER to the positive to make it sweeter. Okay? Now, if we are going to change it into superlative, we have to add EST to make it sweetest. Alright? And if we are going to make it in a superlative degree, we have to add EST be positive which is the word small to make it smallest number two when the adjective ends with letter e all you have to do is to add r and est to the comparative and superlative degree let's have an example so for example we have white we all know that the word wise ends with what letter e very good so since it with letter E, all you have to do with the comparative is to add R to the word wise to make it yes, to make it wiser. And of course, if you wanted to make it in a superlative degree, all we have to do is to add E S T to the positive to make it yes, and that would become wises. Any questions so far for the lesson that we have this morning? None. That's good to know. So this time, I will group you into two. So the the archers and the barbarians will be joining as one group or two. The hog riders and the giants will be joining as one troop to make it the second group. Each troop will be able to receive another set of envelopes. So as a group or a troop, all you have to do is to describe the picture inside it. Then, you have to choose one representative to represent your work here based on the following of rubric. Take note that there will be a deduction of points if and only if each member will be able to break our house rules. I hope that you understand my point class. Ready? Yes, teacher! So, did you learn something today, class? Good job! So, what are those things that you have learned today? We've learned about the decrease of comparison of adjectives, teacher. So, when do we use the positive degree of adjectives? 
positive degree of comparison is used when there is no comparison is made. Exactly. How about if I say the comparative degree of adjective? Comparative degree of comparison is used when two things or set of things are compared. Bravo! Class, remember, we use comparative as a positive degree in order for us to compare things or group of things. We only have to add ER and ESP to the positive degree of adjectives. For adjectives that ends in Y, all you have to do is change Y to IER and IEST. Lastly, use more or most with an adjective that is more than two or more syllables. Understood? So in order for us to know if you have really understood the lesson that we have this morning, all we have to do is to answer this test that I have prepared to all of you. So what you're going to do is to complete the sentence with the correct degree of comparison of adjectives. Alright?